Hi there my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. If you're new here, welcome. You just clicked on one of my DIY custom envelope videos in which I take one of my envelopes that I use for my cash stuffing and I decorate it up using simple and inexpensive materials to my preference and liking. It's pretty easy and no crickets were used in the making of this video. <laughs> My channel is primarily based on my budgeting journey using the cash envelope system. I've been doing it for about six months now, and let me tell you, I wouldn't go back if somebody paid me to, and this is a channel where I'm saving money, so that, that speaks volumes. <laughs> Anyway, if this is something that might interest you, or if you're looking for some motivation or inspiration or simply some entertainment, I welcome you. And consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my thriving community. We are growing day by day, building up our thriving army. If you're already one of my current subscribers, hi, how you doing? I hope you guys have been having a good day, a great weekend, and we are ready to start this week off. And without further ado, do. Let's get started. So, the envelope that I have chosen for today is going to be my gaming envelope. Now, this is a brand new envelope I just made. Me and my husband, we like to do a little bit of gaming here and there, mostly like mobile games and things like that. And we wanted to feel not so guilty about spending money on them. So if we save for it, then we don't feel so guilty about spending for it, you know? So with that being said, I want to go ahead and decorate this up because we did finish my short term binder, which is where I placed this. And and I don't want one envelope undone. So we're going to go ahead and do this one up so that we can consider that binder still done, if you know what I mean. So what I'm going to be doing is replacing nothing really with this. I found this image online. Don't know if it's copyrighted or not, but I found it and I sized it up to what I wanted and I'm going to attempt this. We are going to try a new technique similar to how I did the marbling effect if you watched my groceries one, but we're going to try a little different technique in order to create this shading. Don't know how it's going to work, so we're going to try it together. We're going to, I'll be the guinea pig like always. So I'll explain how I'm going to do that in just a sec. But if you're new and you've never watched one of my DIY custom envelope videos, then this is what I do. I find an image that I like or I make an image using an app on my phone and I print it out to the size that I want it to be, cut it up, and then I just stick it inside here. Which, I mean, technically, if you wanted to just be lazy, you could just leave it like that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I didn't think of that until now, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, so you could just leave it like that, and then this would be your envelope. However, what I'm going to do is take some Sharpie markers, and I'm going to trace over this image on the outside of this envelope. So that when I pull this out, the image will still be here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and tape all this up inside here just to make sure that it doesn't move while I'm tracing this up. Trust me, it's happened before, so we don't want that to happen again. And the technique that I'm going to use is taking some rubbing alcohol. This is just the Publix brand. It's nothing, anything special, but I'll be taking a little bit of rubbing alcohol and I'll be putting it in a shot glass or some kind of glass that you want. And I'll be using a, just a simple little, tiny little paintbrush to try and help get that shading effect. But I will also be using the marker itself and diluting it with the alcohol to hopefully create the shading effect. But we'll see. I don't know if it'll work, but we're gonna, we're gonna try this together and we'll see how it turns out. So, I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up for myself and we will get started and I will speed everything up like normal, put on some good music for you and you enjoy watching the process.
was a lot of work. So what do you guys think? I think I like it. It's not as orange as the picture was, but I think it's all right. It'll do. I think that I do want to put some rhinestones on this because I haven't been putting a lot of rhinestones on my things lately. So this one, we're going to put some rhinestones on it. So um, we'll see where they end up landing I think that'll do it. It's got just a little bit of bling going on. I wanted to keep the yellow where it's almost like paint coming and paint splattering with the blue and the yellow. So I think that'll do it. And it's pretty much dry. I'm probably going to put it in but not actually close the binder. So let's go ahead and do that together. And then we'll do another final flip through of this binder. So now that it will be done again. Okay. So we have our self care, home, gifts, clothing, family fun, car maintenance. Amazon, date night. Now this one will probably have to be fixed because this was one of the first ones I did before I started doing my own letters. So these stickers will have to come off, I think. YouTube giveaway and gaming. I like it. It's cute. It fits. It fits the theme, I think. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Um, I already do have plans for what my next one will be for next week, so you guys will have to stay tuned for that to see. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Leave me a comment below, let me know what you think, and like this video if you liked it. If you're still watching and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join my family. I do videos like these once a week. Or I try to, unless things are happening. So I'd love to have you stick around and be a part of my thriving community. I will see you guys in Wednesday's video, which will be WTF Wednesday. And until then, bye.